All right, people, welcome back to Daily Duels. So today is Tuesday, that means we're using Teller Knight. So I decided to go ahead and uh, put back in Unukula High because, God, yeah, when I don't open up, well, Unukula High can at least send me that the nap. We have a lot of revival and a lot of ways to grab back shit in this deck. So Unukula High, welcome back. Also, you know, he has kind of an interesting play with, um, with, uh, oh my God, was it Skybridge? You know, I could summon Nuka Hot, drop the neb, then sky bridge into Altair, Altair, summon the neb, search, you know. So, he just helps with the consistency. You know, at late game, he's not the best. I, I definitely understand that. Late game, he is not the best. But early game, he's not too bad. And uh, I decided, I, you know, I was like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and go with him. You know, let's try him out. Wow, he's got a lot of polys. I, I have no idea who you're polying into, but. <laughs> oh, shit. Adoration. No, that's fine. <laughs> I haven't seen that guy in like forever. No, that's fine. Anyway, uh, what do I want to talk about today? What do I want to talk about today? Uh, I'll go ahead and chain you up. Guys, is that place for me to chain? So. Chain you up. <laughs> and during your end phrase, I will go ahead and activate Oasis. Go ahead and summon back that Neb. Neb, go ahead and search me for our. I don't really give a shit, I guess, yeah. Go ahead search me for Altair just so I can get it back with Warrior Returning Alive. But uh, it doesn't really matter right now because I am about to go into one of my. Oh, okay. It didn't matter. I was about to go into Trevor. And then put him back and get my Phoenix Train and my Wasted back. And I just reset them again. So uh, it's a very strong play in this deck. Alright, we will get another duel in. Be right back. Alright, back. So, my classes. My college classes. I must say, sometimes I am just like, wow. <laughs> and sometimes I'm just like, wow. Go ahead and get me a Deneb. That's just like Rota. Yeah. That's definitely, I don't want to have this deck be fun, you know. It's a pretty good deck. You know, it's fun, yet, you know, competitive, you know. But I actually want, you know, the deck to be consistent. I think that's my number one concern is consistency. You know. So, a nuclear high when I don't get it. There you go. This hand is actually pretty good. You got the rudder for Deneb. It's really all you need is the rudder for Deneb and you can get it started, you know. But a nuclear high is not terrible in the end. I mean, you can go, all right. You can go, like, you know, Altair. Summon Vega from the graveyard. Vega summoned the Nuclei from your hand. Damn, there's a Trevor right there, so. It's not terrible. Oh, and I'm about to say, is he just Light Sorns? I was like, hello? I was like, you sure you're not using, uh, uh, Infernoids? Or maybe you just haven't revealed any Infernoids yet. Then send you back. No, no, it looks like pure light swarms. Looks like exactly like what it should be. Light swarms. <laughs> oh, okay. And guess I'll go Vega. Yes. You got something? Some I just drew. I'll search for another Vega. I already have two Altair, so. And I guess I'll go right into Triv. And then return my Oasis to my hand, which is a very nice play. The MST my Fiendish Chain, so that kind of sucks, but Triv is just like, nah, put it back. And then Triv is like, uh, go ahead and uh, give me that one. Oh. <laughs> What does Diamond specifically read? What does Diamond say? Diamond. Alright, uh, I might as well just card. Oh, this card has Exceed Material. And either player can send cards from their deck to Gero. Ooh! Any card that... And any card that returns from the Gero to the hand is banished instead. Ooh, okay. That's not terrible. I might... Ah, I might do that. I might go into Diamond. No, oh, he can't even mill, so... That's not bad. Card is specifically made to fuck up shit all, I swear. 
specifically made to fuck up Sadal's. Like, hello? Go ahead and gun diamond. Diamond! Fire! And set the oasis. I mean, I doubt there'll be any dark monsters activating their effects. But I guess I couldn't get it in our card right now, but... Like, this card is just made to fuck up fucking Jadal's. It's like, wow. Stellar Knight can Stellar Diamond. Okay. Let's say you can't mill. You don't like how come I can't activate my effect? Oh shit, he's got the honest. Alright, come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. You got the honest? Let's go. There you go. Damn, that nigga went to fucking 4400. Like, hello? So, we'll go ahead and activate the Oasis again. Some of the neb. So, true the neb. <laughs> yeah. It's very strong. You know what? Yeah, give me a nickel high because I don't plan on using Vega right now. Hmm. I'm not. Do I want to go into Trevor again? Like, that's the question. Trevor again, and again, again, and again, and again, like, I could. I could go for a, uh, another fucking Trevor, so. I don't need a Teller Knight monster, so. Yeah, I can get a Nuclear High. Not use the fact, but summon, summon, yeah. Go and do that. <sighs> that Honest, though. <laughs> He's like, allow me to fuck you up with Honest. Like, alright, alright, I see you. I see you, sir. You say what now, all of a sudden you got something? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and summon you. Mm. Mm. Yeah, summon the neb. Search again with the neb. Just searchy, searchy, search. Searchy, searchy, search, search. Search, 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 search. Sure. Give me a Vega. My God, look at me. Look at me. I'm just searching out the ass. Hello? <laughs> We're going to another Triv. Uh, who do I want to bounce back? You know what? I'll take my old tire back. Triv again. Triv, Triv is so good. Like, wow. Triv effect. Give me a card out of your hand. Again, <laughs> like, gimme. You don't need that. <coughs> now he kind of got lucky he had that uh, honest for that diamond because he couldn't even mill to the graveyard. Like, whoo, the struggles were even real. <laughs> my biggest problem right now is just watching my life points. Like, really? I mean, you got Necro Garden. How come, you, how come you didn't grab that honest out of his hand unless you drew it? Something on that Aaron. So now what? Oh, okay. I'm about to say, oh shit, am I gonna get kicked in the face again? Well, oh, summoning that wolf. I'm just gonna keep picking shit out of his hand until I get that JD, because I want that JD. Oh, wow, Brook Charge too? Oh, I'm not playing at this door right now. Hell no. And pick something out of his hand. You don't need this. <laughs> oh, you don't need that JD. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> you do not need that JD. Hello. <laughs> well, this guy's like, damn it, damn it, damn it. Like, yeah. <laughs> You're not going to sack this living shit out of me. I play goldfish. Because I kind of feel like Goldfish has some synergy, but you know, I could probably take out Goldfish now. Since if you can get the ball rolling, you really don't need Goldfish, you know? Like, it's been sitting in my hand, like, what, the entire door? And I really haven't needed it. I've been going into Triv more than anything. You know, and you can't go into Triv with him. But I do like Delta Rust, though. And he does help him to Delta Rust, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm still thinking and debating on the Goldfish. God, I'm so up on resources. Like, look at this. Look at this. I am so up on resources. It is not even funny. Hello. 
All right, I'm think I think I know what that that card is. I think I know what it is. Is it beckoning? Is it beckoning? Is it baconing? Mmm, baconing. <laughs> is it baconing? No. Oh, okay. It's a light sword and barrier thing. I don't give a shit about that. All right, you got another honest. You got two honest. I don't like that the the idea of my opponent having another honest. You know, honest should just be one of those cards where you get honest, you don't have to worry about it for the rest of the fucking duel. I'm always on fucking edge now. <laughs> oh, like ah oh, shit, I'm gonna get honest again, aren't I? Like hello. <laughs> you still got one more JD in deck, so is it time to go? You get JD. No, 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 summon Raiden. Alright. Why didn't Raiden go ahead and mill you some more? He is not milling. Yeah. I am beating you with c control and resources while you're just sitting there over there, just twiddling your thumbs trying to get your lucky JD. Like, uh, how about no? Blow him up. Triv? I don't think I've ever seen Triv use all three detachments to take everything out of my opponent's hand. Like, that's that's craziness. And I have to summon Nukalai, and that's definitely a game. No, you don't need to send anybody. You just need to see that Deneb at the beginning of the duel. Besides that, we're good. We're golden. We're, we're bros. Yeah. I wasn't sure how much I liked you, but if you help my consistency, then we're chill. We're friends. Whew. Kicking that butt. There we go. Alright, so, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm definitely gonna get another one. Be right back. Alright, so how about I actually talk about what I wanted to talk about in today's video? Now, how does that sound? That sound like a plan? Because seriously, I have not been talking. Got some more goldfish, but, you know, sometimes it really feels like I really don't need them, but, you know. Give me Vega. I'll set the Phoenix Chain, play the Phoenix Chain, then go for Trevor. Hopefully next turn if he doesn't have MST. And uh, bounce back to Phoenix Chain. And, and set the Phoenix Chain. You know, reminds me what I did with uh, Castellas or Pleades. You know, Phoenix Chain, my cards monster. Bounce back to Phoenix Chain, kill your monster, reset the Phoenix Chain. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, anyway. Uh, so, as you guys know, I have online classes. I have two in classes, two online. One of the online classes is... Uh, Okay, it's okay. It's a 16-week class. Uh, you know, we do some case studies and you know, we read and take quizzes. It's pretty chill. The other one, on the other hand, 280, has a lot of work. A lot of work. It's it's like it's like not only do you do exactly what the other class requires you to do, but uh, but you also have to. Uh, all right, all right. So I guess I'm bear. Then bear's gonna come after me. I'm gonna freaking fingers train you. But the problem is, if you lance your monster, then you'll be weaker than me. So, the choice is yours. You can just stop. Because I want you to stop. <laughs> like, no thank you. I don't, I don't, I don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> wow, another fiendish chain. Hmm. Think about really just going into Deltaros. Yeah, just summoning you into you. Yeah, you into you. Make a Deltaros. So I guess in this sense the goldfish are really good because I'm not use, really using them for anything else, especially since I protected my uh, my uh, Deneb. Go activate that, detach, blow that up. The fuck is that? Oh, okay. <laughs> and we'll just kill. All right, lost my fetus chain, but that's fine. Uh, diamond's not really necessary in this duel, from what I've seen. Uh, so I still have no idea what we're going against, but, you know. It's not looking too terrible right now. Got that Delta else. Something's happening. Something's about to happen. Oh, shit. I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. <laughs> so, the class, like, literally, it's like, you know, second week. You know, after the week one where you pretty much just, you know, Introduce yourself, quirk doesn't eat all these shit. Second week, it's literally like, hey, do a project that's due at the end of the week. Uh, 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 read the quiz, do that. 
work with your partners for the, uh, another upcoming project. Like, there's so much work to be done in that class. And that was supposed to be 16 weeks. The teacher all of a sudden emailed us today, and she was like, oh, I messed up. This is actually a, um, this is actually a, uh, an eight-week class instead of 16. So that means that, no, she's not going to cut the material. It's literally double the pace. So instead of having to read like 70 pages and take a quiz and do a project every week and all that, it's like do two projects and read 150 fucking pages and all that good shit. And it's just like, God fucking damn. Like, uh, how about no? You know, how about, how about no? So I'm actually planning on dropping that class. I'll take it during the summer where, you know, I have more free time and I don't have as many classes to worry about because, you know, that class plus my calculus, because calculus and, you know. This nigga said. Two, two down, one to go. Like you can think that, but you know, I can, I can, I can just as easily, you know. You know what? I actually might do that. What? Not talking to you. I'm talking about this duel. I could, I literally could just go for a trip and then just return it back to my hand. And Mary really can't do shit to me without the tanky. Yeah, you know what? I'll do that. He's like, two down, one to go. Like, um, how about I just return it to my hand and then you can just deal with the same fucking fiendish chain? Like, how does that sound? The only thing that sucks is I'm gonna lose my Delta House, but that's okay. Triv is, Triv is love, Triv is life. Give me that one. Goblin book, huh? And I'll poke you again. And then I'll reset this scene to chain, and but you can't guess what it is. But this guy's like, God damn! <laughs> you got another tanky? Problem is you need to kill my Triv, but if you don't kill my Triv, I'm gonna pick something out of your hand. So that's the problem. The triv needs to be off. But if you kill my Triv, then I can summon, you know, and send to the graveyard. Then I can summon a Talon Monster from my graveyard. You know, I could just do another one like this deck. I like this deck. It's fun. <laughs> Will I ever play competitively? No, I'm done with competitive Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah, but it's fun. So yeah, I'm pretty much just gonna drop the class. I'm like, fuck that. Fuck that. It's too much work. Too much work. I do not need to be stressed out. Ah, so, Mr. Smash U500, what you gonna do? Set a monster, huh? Oh, Nova. Cool. Alright, Triv. Go ahead, pick something out of his hand. Oh, he drew for me, so how? I don't even know what deck he's using, but how unfortunate. I did you a favor, if you want to think of it like that, taking the freaking Felice out of your hand that you really can't even use. I'll say, is it the bear? You know, I wouldn't have done that play with he's unless he said, because, just because he said that two down, one to go, I'm like, no, 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 no. Put it back in my hand, didn't feed this hand again, like... You know, I could have done it the first time, but I kind of wanted to go into Deltaros. But then now I'm pretty much like, hey, fuck Deltaros. <laughs> it's all about that Triv. This is a Triv day. Triv is putting in that work. I'm fucking fucking you up with a goddamn triangle shield. Look at that triangle fucking shield. Hello? I got a fucking scarf. Got a fucking cape blowing in the wind. Looking like a badass. Oh, it's Stardust Assault Mode. <coughs> Is it Stardust Assault Mode from what I've seen? Yeah, it's definitely Stardust Assault Mode deck. Yep, Stardust Assault Mode. Come on, Stardust Assault Mode. Alright, so you see he's trying to use Assault Bees to get his... What do you mean, sure? It's obvious. Obvious, it's salt mode, you know, all that good shit. It's 
So you're gonna call the haunted, doesn't matter, cause she's the tuner. Sink and start us, start us assault, right there. And then as soon as, you know, I'm gonna allow you to do everything. I'm gonna allow you to do everything. And then as soon as next, on my turn, you activate it, somebody activate and your status, I'm gonna be like, uh, Nova. <laughs> uh, yeah. Stardust. Stardust. Stardust in defense mode. This nigga's like, nah, 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 nah. Nah, I need my Stardust. I need it. I need it. <coughs> Go ahead. Salt mode activate. Boop. And you're gonna trip each your Stardust. And I'm gonna be like, uh, no. And then he's gonna quit. <laughs> wow, and I drew right into another fucking Nova. Like, wow. Wow! <laughs> uh, yep, oh, well, I tried. Mm, yep. Like, nigga, I could have I could have stopped you a long time ago. But I'm like, nah. I, I, I'm nice. I'm nice like that. But now this time, I'm like, nah. <laughs> oh, this is one of those times where I'm not going to go on the trail because there's no really no point in bouncing back anything. Nope, just gonna summon the nuclear high. Like, no. How about you tribute your starter? It feels so good to fucking fuck up start assault mode. Like, you don't even know. Whew, it feels good. Fuck you up with these two. Get that 35. Just fuck you up with these. Feels good. Feels good to fuck up start assault mode. Hate that deck. And we're going to Delta House. No point going to Trey, why? So he can get his call haunted back and revive his stardust? Like, no, thank you. Ah. Yep, surrender. That's it. Woo! Tell her, like, they're strong. They're strong. I can I can see how they're, they're up there in tier. No, they're tier 1.5, definitely. So, yep, drop the class. So, the only thing I'm worried about is. Hey, I don't know how to drop a class. I don't know how to withdraw from a class. So I'm, yeah, I'm gonna ask one of my teachers when I go to class Tuesday. Being, you know, today. so I'll update you on that. And um, I only I checked out. I will only get fifty percent of my money back, which is fine. It's fine. I don't, it's not about the money. And the class wasn't even that expensive, and I didn't even buy the book. So there we go. Also, need to go to the bookstore and buy my book for my other my education class that I'm actually keeping. And uh, what I'm worried about is that. Uh, by dropping that class, I actually dropped down to 11 credits a semester, and therefore I'm not a full-time student. So, I'm wondering how that's going to work with how I'm not a full-time student this semester. <coughs> so, I'll probably just do, um, uh, shit. I will probably just do, uh, 280 over the summer break along with, uh, Nevada History. Take those two classes, and then the last semester, 299, and I should be done. I'm visiting my counselor on the 3rd of February, so well, I can go ahead and talk things out with him and uh, hopefully, you know, get this situated and hopefully, you know, graduate with my associates soon. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. Tell Knight's looking very powerful, like a really fun deck, you know, just for fun. I don't want to be competitive. I just want to have fun. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow using something competitive. It's time for Dirty Dan, who's in Cleese. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.